Okay, so sent. Here we go. Oh my gosh. All right, so top to bottom. I'll, I'll kind of give a little bit so the people who haven't seen the testing grounds uh, can see a little bit of like what is the stuff that was good then and we're keeping, and then what is the new stuff. Uh, so we'll kind of go. New sense testing. Zone attack, yeah. anyway, is now faintable, obviously. Uh, this is what people want. This is what people Yeah, need. it's it's a three and hit it zone. Make some said to actually hit the move and get parried afterwards. So, yes, cool. Uh, second attack is faintable, and third attack. He's faithful. Oh my gosh. And we'll see. Okay, that was the first. Uh, fainting on the second attack there. Nice. The third attack there. And now we're going to target swap. Him. Oh! Okay. okay. Swaps, she? <laughs> you know. That's pretty you nice. That I was wondering. You're in a 1vx situation. You got to learn how to target swap. But, yeah, you know, target swap. You have to. But, uh, that's what's really, really cool nice. about this one is it gives the players more control and it makes the zone attack more viable because you know you can instead of letting it rip and then watching you be like, oh no, they're gonna yep. block it. Oh, he's <laughs> they're gonna parry. It. Yeah. Now they can swap or they can uh, they can faint it. Correct. Ex exactly. That's so really it's really cool. Uh, unpredictable in this case, so, yeah, so that's gonna be good go. for him, uh, which would be cool. Okay. Uh, after that. Charge heavy finisher, Charge heavy finisher uh, as we saw in the testing grounds, is faintable even once it reaches the unblockable portion. Uh, so we'll see a video for this one as well. And we'll see the character uh, lets it rip first, I guess. So that's full. Followed by a faint. Oh yeah, my. The unblockable there. That's so it. The VFX and the unblockable icon. Game Fire changer. All up here. And there's the, uh, the guard break uh, faint as well. So these are so with the change. This uh, these are three options that players can use to you know have some mix-ups into their combat, right? <laughs> exactly. What are we playing I mean, on live because you can't faint that. Uh, yeah. Once you see that, you're like, okay, not much you can do about that. I'll just punish him for for trying to hit me. Mm -hmm. And here, now it's actually going to be a threatening option. That's going to be super cool. Yeah, I think this one's a good tool, especially when you want to condition your opponent. So it's like. Yeah. You know, when you, when you keep doing react. it, they faint, and then eventually maybe throw out the guard break at the end. Or maybe let it rip, because you know, they might think you're yeah. fainted or whatever. Let it fly. So I like it. Totally. You have a choice. Yeah. So that's going to be cool. All right. Let's keep going through this. Uh, jab. Okay, as we saw in the testing grab uh, grounds, it is now faintable. But we made a number of timing options here. That's uh, a lot. This options. is amazing. Timing changes to this uh, in the branchings and so on. So if you do uh, jab, confirmed light, and then you attempt to jab, it's going to work. Uh, you have options to actually hit that or think guard break that and so on. Same if you go to heavy and think guard break and so on. These uh, feints into guard break and such are actually going to work now, which is super cool. Besides that, we've tried to reduce the frustration of being punched uh, so often. We've removed the stun property on this, so you're not going to get flashbanged constantly. Oh, uh, nice! Jab is also target swappable as you're charging it. That's pretty for cool. For Clarissa, wherever she is <laughs> over here, personally. Yeah. Great and point. we added That's a great uh, point. <laughs> and we added an uh, uninterruptible stance uh, just before the hit, similar to say Warden's uh, shoulder bash. Oh, so uh, in this sense, like a little bit. like a low high brown. That's pretty nice. Uh, late attacks. Okay, so. Second I mean, it's got 500 milliseconds. Let's uh, go. He's needed. Light attack used to be 700 ms. Light uh, spam is set. Can anyone sent. imagine what this attack actually looks like <laughs> on live? I know I can't. Uh, no one uses so it. We've made it 500 here, uh, and now you can see it. Probably for the first time in a year or two years. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> really cool. So hopefully, That's to really cool. parity with everybody else. Uh, 500 milliseconds. Just give you a few more options I'll after getting a confirmed jab or for confirmed light on something. Cool. I cannot wait the lights, man. So let's put it all together there. Um, on the next one, we've removed quick throw entirely. So again, Chris, but yeah. quick throw uh, threatens the guard break. However, the other options that this character has are uh, light or heavy or whatever, right? So if you know that, you know you don't have to dodge anything after you get hit by something. You can just there try to block the light. It's nice. Uh, Not if he constantly being does stunned. a quick throw, you just tech it. Uh, so it's not a scary move. Instead, you replace it by jab. So all through this chain now, you're going to be terrified by like, is it going to be uh, jab? Is it going to be fully charged jab? Is it going to be jab, faint, guard break? Is it going to be 
whatever, right? Light or it's a new hero. Uh, I feel well. like that's why they're waiting because for it to release the, to show, the actual uh, new lights hero. and jabs all put together here. So light into jab, light, light, oh, into jab, whoa. light, light, light. Oh, fully charged jab. <laughs> nice, nice. Over there. You can jab. Yep. So as you can see, at any a, point a in the chain. Try at this point, and you'll see. I think Centurion's even trying to mix it up even further. So it should be some exciting stuff. Uh, what else did we change after that? Uh, parry counter. Um, so one of the things identified by players in the testing ground was uh, when you get a wall splat off of parry counter, it's really not very satisfying. You didn't get the charge heavy uh, very often, and you didn't get anything else. So here what we're trying to do is allow a jab after the parry counter instead of kick, which means on wall splat you can get the fully charged jab for free. Oh, so no um, more knee so to the face? To Ego's talent, uh, at least through some set. Oh, wow. There's the... Oh, that so looks weird. Cool. Uh, Centurion's still going to get a couple options to do big damage on, on parry punishes. So oh! It will still be maintained. At the same time, removing the extremely long parry into you know, kick, into fully charged jab, into wow. uh, fully charged heavy, into fully charged jab, into... Eagle's Fury, uh, into everything else in the universe, uh, and trying to bring it down to, to a set rate. So, good reward, reasonable amount of time. That's the idea there. And basically, we, you want to make sure that you're not near a wall. Still, you are, I mean, Centurion's always going to be friends with walls. That's what Yeah, uh, <laughs> I get true, so true. scared. I mean, if you want to be extreme, you could try, like, threatening a jab, faint guard breaking at a ledge or something like that. If you're going for broke, I don't know. Try wow. All right, That's awesome. Through this, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Legion more. Kick, another thing identified as not good enough on live. Uh, so before it was 600 MS, we've switched it to 500 MS. This is more in line with like Conk yeah. Warlord, that kind of stuff. So That's fine. We Eagle's Fury, Nature's uh, Wrath. Uh, forward Legion Kicks to be threatening your 1v1 opponent. Similarly, you see on the movement side, uh, the Centurions had a lot of attacks that really didn't have a lot of range. Uh, he's got no. a two left arm syndrome kind of uh, style. That's a lot of range. And at the same time, his forward strafe was really, really quite slow. Um, and this meant a lot of times people could kind of backwalk or backspace him really easily. Um, so we're trying well to do that. Uh, and I think we can show a super quick video on the uh, Zanhu trying to escape and not succeeding, uh, at least in strafe versus strafe. So I'd recommend if you're Centurion in 1v1, keep your stick forward. <laughs> you be happy. Yeah, because you can just well, keep moving back. Because, uh, you know, he's meant to be played as a close distance kind of character. So Yeah. Hopefully. Exactly. Can, yeah. Get good. up close, bully them. Uh, I honestly feel like I'm with them right now. So that's pretty cool. And then the last change we've made there, uh, Eagle's Fury. That's a dodge forward heavy. Uh, now it's Nature's Wrath. It's 1,000, and we slightly increased the, the range. Look at that. Perfect. So, uh, Again, it's another one of the, the of best openers. Close, basically, is the intention. Here. Wow! And that's that's got some range. Centurion. That's got a lot of range. That's absolutely amazing. I know that this has been a long time coming for a lot of players, and you know, um, obviously, with the delay, we haven't had the chance to speak about this beforehand. So now we do get the chance. I'm I'm just wondering, and you know, as um as as maybe people that are, are mains of the Centurion, how does this affect their play style? Does oh, this role change? Um, you know, do they have to get used to a new role within, like, you know, um, 4v4 situation, 2v1s, whatever it may be? How does his play style adapt after these changes? Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting, actually. So in 1v1s, basically we saw, hey, play extremely defensively, go parry fishing, and then punish like heck when you can. Uh, I mean, you're still going to be able to parry like everybody else. That's not taken away. Uh, 